The next sample in our book is the 1 fourth inch seam allowance. This is going to be very similar to our first one, except instead of 5 eighths, we're going to do 1 fourth. So as I read my first instructions, lay two 3 by 6 rectangles together with the right side touching. So I'm going to take two more rectangles and I'm going to put them right sides touching or pretty sides touching. The next instruction says, sew a 1 fourth inch seam down the long edge, backstitching at the beginning and the end. So I'm going to line this up. The 1 fourth inch is the outside edge of the presser foot. There's also a teeny tiny little line right here in front of the feed dogs, but the easiest way to follow it is the outside edge of the presser foot. Now remember, fabric always goes to the left, so I'm going to line up the right edge of my presser foot with the edge of my fabric, and that's all I need to follow down. So once again, twist the hand wheel, put it in your fabric, tug the threads to the back, and begin sewing. Remember to backstitch. Go forward, hold in the backstitch, and go all the way down the edge. Keep your fabric lined up. Watch the edge of the fabric on the presser foot. And remember when I get to the edge, backstitch a couple stitches, and then I can lift the presser foot, take it out to the left, trim the threads. We're going to continue watch, uh, reading on. It says, trim all threads and open the press, open and press the seam allowance to one side. So this time we're not pressing it open, we're just pressing it to the side. So I'm going to take my seam and I'm going to trim the threads. Make sure they get in the garbage. And this time when I open it, I don't press it open, I press it to one side. It doesn't matter if it's to the right or to the left, but you're going to take it to the iron and press it to one side. Keep the seam together and press it, and I'll show you how to do that on the iron. Here I am at the iron with my 1 4 inch seam. For this one, it says to press the seam allowance to one side, not open this time. So all I have to do is open the fabric, take my iron, and just press the seam allowance to one side. It doesn't matter which side you press it to, and you can use the steam if you'd like, but as you can see, we're pressed to one side. I want you to staple it with the wrong side facing up so I can check your seam allowance, and that one is done. All right, when you staple in your 1 4 inch seam allowance, make sure that the wrong side is facing up and that your seam has been pressed to the side and then we just staple the top. <laughs>